Hi everybody. So today we are going to start the morning with cleaning the freezer. I have a feeling this is going to be a much shorter video because the freezer is usually a place that doesn't need the kind of attention that the refrigerator needs. So let's take a look over here. Okay, we have a lot of frozen peas, um, peas, uh, because we're older people and we're always hurting, especially after bike rides, so we need these. So those are going to stay. All right, normally we don't eat hot dogs by the millions, but we have them by the millions in the in the fr freezer and I think that's because Tony likes to host um, biking competitions where they will roast hot dogs off the back of the truck. All right, let's start counting how many bags of this are in the freezer. But let me explain first why they are. I have a very small pantry and um, it does get infested easily with house mice and um, Miller's moths. And so some stuff is just easier to put into the freezer so I don't have to worry about infestations. Um, so that's where I put the bare naked uh, granola. Now I have told you that that you can find this easily enough in the grocery store, but fruit and nut, yeah, you remember this. That's a hard one to find. So leave what you find for me. So let's count these bags. A couple of them are opened at the same time. Not keeping good track of this. One, two, three. Put these over here on the side. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my God. There's one hiding over here. Eight. Okay. That's it, eight. So I am officially a bare naked fruit and nut hoarder. I didn't realize that. I'd like to think that uh, Tony brought a few of these home as well because as soon as we see them, we just pick up a bunch of them. I didn't realize we had eight of these. Um, that takes up a lot of room in the freezer. Guess I don't need to pick those up for a while. All right. What else do we have here? Uh, I don't even know how long these have been there. These are a few hot Italian sausages. Don't need those. Um, in the winter time, I froze some basil because uh, I thought it would be better than having none, turning up having none um, from having not gotten any fresh basil at the supermarket so it's sort of a backup it's summertime we don't need that oh boy these are those crappy things again yeah pretty much pure sugar um they probably go with these but tony won't know Okay, so this looks like a backup bread from Sift Bakery, which is right here in town. And many of you may know that the head baker of Sift Bakery um, won Best Baker in America on the Food Network. So I have to say he does live up to that um, accolade. More potato rolls! Oh my God. Go on. All right, I don't, 
Oh, I think I know what this is. This is frozen um, pasta sauce. It's good to know we have that in there. I didn't know that. Uh, more little frozen deals for like broken fingers and such. We, we've been breaking our fingers and hands a lot in the last six months. Probably because we're old and our, our bones are, you know, Wait a minute, what? Two frozen sauces, now I don't know which one is uh, older and which one is not. All right. Are you even kidding me? Are you even kidding me? Potato rolls galore. Another finger freezer. Uh, that might be it. Um, oh, I didn't know we had these little treats in there. These are uh, little macaroons from Sift Bakery, so lunchtime. And wow, looks like I'm hoarding some Sift Bakery stuff in there. Like treats for later. Those go back in. Um, unfortunately, I do have to keep uh, my flour in the freezer, too, because of the worry with infestations in the pantry, and I only have so much room for storing food in the pantry. Um, so that's going to go back in as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to say... Rather than having done a major cleaning in the freezer, I had a pretty good wake up call here on number one. I do have a bit of a hoarding problem with and two, we'll just let these slide by and put them back in for Tony and we kind of been breaking our fingers a lot. So join me um, for uh, the next video, uh, today or tomorrow. I am hoping at some point to get into the grocery store live. And thanks for watching, see you soon, bye.